Hi, this is Dale Spoonmore, Product Manager of Total Sketch. I'm here to show you some of the changes that we've made in the most recent Total Sketch update. The first change is you'll notice that the cursor is no longer a crosshair when you're in draw mode all the time. It's now only a crosshair when the pen is actually down. So you'll see I'll hit enter to place the cursor down and you'll see that the cursor switches to a crosshair. If I press escape to lift the pen, then it goes back to a mouse cursor. This makes it easier to know when the cursor is actually down as opposed to when it's up. Another change that we've made is when you're in modify mode, We've also changed the icon to not be a cursor so that you can tell when the difference between you're a modified or, or when you're in draw mode. This just makes it easier for you to know based on looking at the cursor what mode you're currently in. We've also changed it to where if you press enter on the keyboard it'll place or lift the cursor. Before you had to press escape or enter. So this makes it especially useful for interior walls. So you see I switched to interior wall mode. I press enter. Say I'm going to go five feet right. Enter to place the cursor or enter to place the line, enter to lift the cursor again. I want to have a little gap in between, so I go three right, enter to place, and I'm going to do another five foot wall to the right. Some other options that we've changed, or other features that we changed, we've made it to where you can uh, change the features for interior walls uh, individually. Before, you could only change them globally. So if you right click on an interior wall and then go to interior line properties, you can set the different line options for interior walls. This also works for exterior walls as well. Another thing that we've added is the ability to type a label with just the keyboard without having to use the mouse. So we have an autocomplete feature. So if you're used to pressing T on the keyboard to drop down the label list, as I just did here, you can start typing. So I want to add a bedroom, so I type bed. You see it autocompletes. I press enter. And then you can either use a keyboard to move that around, or you can just grab the mouse and drag it and place it right there. Another thing that we've added is the ability to resize symbols easier. Before you had to click on these little corners here to resize. Now you can click on the symbol and then if you want to change the, the width of the symbol you type the value you want it to be. So I'm going to want this to be 7 feet and then W on the keyboard and then enter and you'll see it'll make that symbol to be 7 feet uh, wide. If I want to make the change the height you type the number I'm going to enter 4 and then H for the height and enter and then it'll change that. Uh, you can also enter them at the same time. So if I want to go 8W and then 4H, you'll see in the bottom status bar down here it has what it's going to resize to. Press enter and it changes them both at the same time. These are just a few of the changes that we've made in this most recent update. Please see the release notes for everything else that we've changed and keep your feedback coming. Thank you.